One-fourth of the United States' critical infrastructure is at risk of flooding, a new report released Monday morning warns. The report pinpoints the nation's flood risk to critical infrastructure, such as utilities, airports, ports and emergency services like police, fire, and hospitals, in addition to residential properties, commercial properties, streets and local roads, and social infrastructure like schools and govern. First Street Foundation is a Brooklyn-based nonprofit research and technology group that works to define America's flood risk. The report, titled The Third National Flood Risk Assessment, Infrastructure on the Brink, took into account all types of floods, including slow-motion river flooding, fast-moving flash flooding, along with coastal flooding and storm surge from the ocean. With an increasing number of flood events making headlines across the nation, there is now a greater awareness of the economic and human cost that flood-damaged infrastructure can create, report authors say. As we saw a few weeks ago following the devastation of Hurricane Ida, our nation's infrastructure. As the report notes, the impact of Hurricane Ida stretched across the country, crippling the electrical grid in southern Louisiana, flooding the transportation infrastructure in the NYC metro area, and killing nearly 100 people. It is clear, now more than ever, that the ways and places in which we live are likely to continue to be impacted by our changing environment. According to the report, the highest concentration of community flood risk is in Louisiana, Florida, Kentucky, and West Virginia, with 17 of the top 20 most A. Louisiana alone accounts for 6 of the top 20 most at-risk counties, parishes, and is home to the most at-risk county in the U.S., Cameron Parish. When shifting focus from counties to sites, a large percentage of the cities in the top 20 list is made up of cities from the states of Louisiana, three cities, and Florida, six cities. Among those cities, the major population centers of New Orleans, ranked second, Miami, eighth, St. Petersburg, Florida, 12th, and Tampa, 14th, all rank highly in the most at-risk cities list.